Number 9. This figure over here gives the path of a squirrel moving about on level ground. From point A at times equal to t equals to 0, to point B at t equals to 5 minutes, C 10 minutes, and D 15 minutes. Consider the average velocities of the squirrel from point A to each of the other three points. Of them, what are the magnitude and B the angle of the one with the least magnitude? and the magnitude and the angle of the one with the greatest magnitude. So we are going to draw four different vectors. So this is going to be vector A. This is going to be vector B. This is going to be vector C. And that one is vector D. Okay. So we have to find the displacement vectors for each movement in respect to vector A. So vector A, let's see. So each division is equal to five meters, right? Five meters. So vector A is equal to one, two, three, 15 meters in the I direction minus 15 in the j direction in meters vector b is equal to 30 in to 30 in the i direction minus 45 in the j direction also in meters vector c is equal to 20 in the i direction minus 15 in the j direction in meters and vector d is equal to plus 45 in the i direction plus 45 in the j direction also in meters Okay, so we are considering the average velocities from point A to each of the three points. So let's call it, so let's call it, let's choose a letter, let's say this is movement 1 is equal to B minus A, uh, which is equal to B minus A, which is 15 in the I direction minus 30 in the j direction so this is the first movement the second movement is equal to c minus a which is equal to 5 in the i direction and the third movement is equal to d minus a Maybe M is a, is a terrible choice because it's not a movement, right? It's just a displacement, but I already used the letter D over here. But you know what I mean when I say movement. It is the displacement vector. So D minus A is equal to 30 in the I direction plus 60 in the J direction in meters. Okay, so those are the three displacements that we have. But we have to calculate the average velocities of each one. So we have to divide to the time it took to do that movement. So for example, for the first movement, we have five minutes. So let's call it delta T1 is equal to five minutes or 300 seconds. Delta T2 is equal to 10 minutes or 60 600 seconds and delta t3 is equal to 900 seconds so we can find the vectors of the velocity vectors so velocity 1 is equal to m1 over delta t1 so this is equal to 15 minus 30 over 300 and this is equal 0 0.05 minus 0 0.1 in meters per second 
So this is the, f the first vector, velocity vector. The second velocity vector is m2 over delta t2, which is equal to 5 in the i direction over 600. And let's see, this is equal to 0 0.0083 in the i direction meters per second and v3 is equal to m3 over delta t3 which is equal to 30 in the i direction plus 60 in the j direction over 900 so let's make this calculation over here this is equal to let's see 0 so a third is uh, 0 0.033 in the i direction plus 0, let's see, 0 0.066 in the j direction in meters per second. Okay, so now we have the, the velocity vectors and we need the magnitude of them so we can choose the one with the least magnitude, the one with the, the greatest magnitude. The magnitude of V2 is already calculated, we don't have to do anything, so this is the magnitude of vector V2 because it only has one component. For V1, the magnitude of V1 is equal to the square root of 0 0.05 minus squared plus minus 0 0.1 squared and this gives us, let's see, this is equal to 0 0.05 squared, 0 0.1 squared, gives us 0 0.11, 11 meters per second, so it's much higher than this value over here, and for third velocity we are going to do the same thing so 0 0.033 squared plus 0 0.066 squared and this gives us let's see 0 0.066 gives us roughly 0. 07 meters per second okay now we can answer this problem over here so for letter a the magnitude and the angle of the one with the least magnitude the least magnitude is this one okay so the magnitude is the magnitude of v2 which is equal to 0 0.0083 meters per second so this is the magnitude of the vector the direction, so let's see, for letter B, the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of the y component of the vector over the x component of the vector, and in this case, the tangent to the minus 1 of 0 over 5, right? And this is equal to, to, to 0 degrees. That's it. So this is the answer of letter B. Letter C, the one with the greatest magnitude. The greatest magnitude is this, this one, V1. So the magnitude of V1 is equal to 0 0.11 meters per second. And the angle, letter D, is the tangent to the minus 1 of V1y over V1x. And this gives us the tangent to the minus 1 of v1 of, let's see, minus 0 0.1 over 0 0.05. And this is equal to, so this is v, okay, so that's correct. So this is to 200 and 97 degrees. That's the answer of letter D.